So when you think of the price of your home, there's actually two prices to take into account. And people don't really understand how this works. And as we enter, enter into this high interest rate environment, it's something to really be considered. This is Steve Myers with Urban Cool ICT. So what we want to talk about today is the two prices your home has, right? So one of those is obviously the more obvious price, which is price based upon what the neighborhood sales are doing, what people are paying for a home, uh, you know, based upon obviously, you know, what your neighbors or the person next street to you, you know, based upon, you know, location, square footage, bedrooms, baths, garages, you know, the typical one that's used for tax values. Now the other price is what people are obviously able to buy your house for. So this rolls into like more of like a monthly payment. So this is an affordability type of thing where, you know, like people in this neighborhood are going to be able to afford around $1,500 or $2,000, whatever that is. And so as we kind of see the interest rates, you know, creep up, that will obviously allow people to have, you know, that's going to cause those payments to go up, which obviously will then translate into affordability. So, and I know this is a little bit more complicated to understand, but you have to understand it in this way, right? Like a $15 person making $15 per hour can only afford a set amount of payment. A person making a hundred grand a year can only certainly afford a certain amount of payment. So as that interest rate goes up, that payment gets larger. So, you know, and that's where we kind of will see those pricing increase, you know, those pricing changes start to happen. So um, another way to look at this is if we look at like counties, right? Like Cedro County naturally has a low tax um, compared to the surrounding counties. So you'll honestly see a, a similar house in let's say uh, Butler County for $20,000 less because the amount of taxes is actually equates to $20,000 more in terms of a payment, which is about 120 bucks a month. So anyway, so that's just one way to look at it. So when you can start looking at them about, hey, how is my house priced? This gives you a different, two different options. One, obviously the comparable sales about the neighborhood, and then two, based upon the monthly payment someone would have for this house.